My dad works in radio, and my mom loves to sing. By the time I was two, I had been to more concerts than a lot of people, and I saw the Oak Ridge time, Oak Ridge Boys more times than I care to admit. It wasn't my choice, it was my parents. Saw a lot of Amy Grant, a lot of Christian artists, a lot of country artists, things that were appropriate for a small child in the evangelical self. But the first concert I ever got to go to, that I wanted to go to, was none other than the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Two very important things happened the year that I was 11 years old. It was 1997. I got my first period. Sorry, it just happens. But I was full of hormones and full of attitude. And I got a copy of the Backstreet Boys' first album, which had such amazing tracks as Everybody Backstreet's Back. It had a, if you want it to be good, girl, get yourself a bad boy. <laughs> Actual track on that song. Uh, it's so bad, seriously. Go look it up after this, it's awful. But to an 11 year old girl, whose only exposure to sex had been reading Songs of Solomon in middle school. <laughs> that CD was like super important to me. So I turned 12, summer of 1998. I'm about to go into seventh grade. And I love the Backstreet Boys. They were just my jam. I, they felt feelings. And they helped me feel feelings, which is what music is supposed to do, right? Like, when they said, yeah, girl, I was like, yeah, they're talking to me. <laughs> oh my god. I had posters all over my mouth. Y'all remember the Got Milk ads? <laughs> oh yeah, milk to those bodies, real good. <laughs> so, my dad, who worked in radio, got me tickets to see the Backstreet Boys at Lakewood Amphitheater in Atlanta. I don't know what it's called anymore, but it's the one with the big lawn. And so my mom took me, because I could not drive myself, even though I thought I was a grown up. And we're sitting at the concert, and they're doing their thing, dancing, and I'm just starry-eyed, and I love all of them. I have a special place for AJ in my heart, because he's a bad one. <laughs> but uh, I really liked all of them. You know, Nick was like a sweet boy. Like, you know, boy next door is high of Howie, who's a little weird, but he's still really cute, and could sing good. Kevin was the dad one. Brian was like, I don't know, the, he's Christian, you know, he, um, he might be Trump, you know. Anyways, uh, and then AJ the bad boy, so all of them, I love all of them. So we're at this concert, and when they do everybody back to back, you know there's that line, it's like, am I a vision? They say, am I sexual, which is really gross if you think about it, because they're singing, they know they're singing to preteen girls. They know it. And Nick was like 16, no, you're not sexual, you're a child, pull that, anyways. I'm watching this, I'm singing along, and my mom leans over to me, and she's like, no, that's not very appropriate. <laughs> my mom, shut up. I just made eye contact with Brian, I'm pretty sure he's going to ask me out, okay? So I'm watching, and it comes to a point in the show where, you, where they break out, and each of them does a solo song. And up until this point, I'd only seen them as a group, but now their individuality got to shine. Howie did a romantic ballad. Brian did some kind of acoustic thing. Kevin did whatever dad thing. <laughs> Nick did, you know, Poppy Love song. And AJ, the bad boy, did a song called Lay Down Beside Me. <laughs> where he laid down on the stage and proceeded to um, know the stage in a biblical sense. And my mother looks at me and goes, that's it, we are leaving. This is inappropriate. <laughs> Now, I don't know that this has ever happened since, but there was literal fire in my eyes. Smoke came out of my ears, and the voice of what must have been the demon of hormone possession came out of my mouth, and I said, we are not leaving. I've waited my whole life for this concert. <laughs> and I guess I scared my mom, because we stayed. Anyways, that's how I knew I was polyamorous, so. 